Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at treehugger.com, and they have an article about uh, some scientists and students who have found a way to generate electricity with body heat. They use a more efficient thermocouple, and they did two different tests, one mounted on the chest, one mounted on an armband. And their hope is to get rid of the old designs that used heat sinks and I believe it was a Peltier plate, and I think they're using the Seebeck spin effect here. Didn't go into a lot of detail in this article. But thermocouples and generating electricity from heat has a lot of potential. Not just here in wearable devices and health monitors and that sort of thing, and recharging maybe even cell phones if they get more efficient. But the sun emits a lot of heat. In most solar panels, they don't absorb energy, or rather collect energy, off that heat energy. So, if you could combine photovoltaic that collects that visible energy with heat-absorbing thermoelectric generators, you could have a nice hybrid system that generates so much power you wouldn't even need to worry about any other sources. So, I believe thermoelectric generators and as well as advances in solar energy are really what's going to push our alternative energy revolution forward. And you know what, this one is a very unique prospect from North Carolina State University. You can read more about it in the link in the description, and if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.